Hi everyone. I wanted to discuss emergency contraception today. Um, given our, you know, political environment, I thought that it's important for women to know their options in the event that they have had unprotected intercourse and how they can make sure that they have um, taken measures to avoid unwanted pregnancy. Um, so there are pro mainly there are two options for emergency contraception and I wanted to review them and how they actually work so that you can understand which might be the best option for you. Um, option number one is an oral progesterone pill and option number two is an, a copper IUD. The oral progesterone pill is actually effective in up to if taken within 72 hours of unprotected intercourse. So very important, um, it's maximum efficacy. In other words, it's most likely to be effective if it's taken within that window. And even within the 72 hours, it's still likely to fail up to 15% of the time. Um, if taken sooner than 72 hours, like if you take it 24 hours or 48 hours, um, the efficacy is maximum when taken sooner and then it starts to decline. So um, that is important to consider. It is also not an option that you want to take um, repetitively. Um, the plan B is a progesterone pill, which has a relatively decent amount of progesterone and that can cause some unwanted side effects, including mood changes, um, transient weight gain, which is usually steroid related water weight retention and changes with your skin. Um, so definitely not an option you want to consider on a regular basis, uh, especially not one you want to consider instead of actual birth control long term. Um, the other thing to understand is how it works. The progesterone pill primarily delays ovulation, which means that it doesn't prevent uh, fertilization from happening. It makes it so that the egg does not come out from the ovary around the time you suspect that sperm is still hanging around and um, trying to be like, what's up? Um, and so hopefully by delaying ovulation, by the time the egg actually does come out, there's nobody there. Now, if you continue to have unprotected intercourse during the course of those days, then taking the plan B back to back to back or taking it repetitively in a month will not really protect you the way you would want it to. And so it's very important to make sure that this is something you do um, in a true emergency setting. Um, otherwise, consider either using condoms or having a long-term contraceptive plan. Um, the copper IUD, not my favorite at all. Um, however, in this setting, it's actually beneficial in that it has a leg up on the progesterone pill or plan B because you can use the copper IUD to prevent an unplanned pregnancy from ever even happening um, for up to 96 hours after you've had unprotected intercourse. So this is an option for women who may have not had access to care or they may have not you know, been able to get the plan B or whatever it is, but if there is a delay in using emergency contraception after having unprotected intercourse, um, unlike the plan B option, which is only up to 72 hours, the copper IUD can be placed um, up to 96 hours after unprotected intercourse. And the reason why is because the copper act in, in the IUD actually creates a hostile environment inside the uterus so that sperm um, can't really survive the journey and um, as a result they're less likely to be able to fertilize an egg. It's part of the reason why I'm not a fan of the copper IUD in on a, on a long-term basis even though it is excellent in that it works for up to 10 years if not more um, is that that hostile environment that it creates can then make for very heavy and crampy periods. I'm personally and professionally a fan of the progesterone IUDs. Unfortunately, they are not an option for you to consider in the emergency setting. So to recap, if you are looking into emergency contraception, I would recommend that you look into the plan B option. It's very much dependent on where, where you are in your actual cycle um, to see how effective it's going to be, as well as primarily it's dependent on how quickly you took it after the unplanned intercourse um, to see how effective it will be. Um, so 
If you are going to consider plan B, then that is a good one-time sort of an option. Um, definitely not something you want to use back-to-back -back or multiple times within one month. Um, and I would encourage you to meet with your you know, healthcare team or gynecologist or make an appointment with Gaia. Um, and it, it can be discussed in more uh, elaboration as to what might be a better option for you long-term. Um, alternatively, you can consider the copper IUD. Again, um, it is good for up to 96 hours after unprotected sex, and you do obviously have to make an appointment in person and have it placed. Um, so very important to be on top of that if that is what you're going to use. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will catch you guys later.